Christina, and, and we're, we're the Gorgeous, gorgeous Geeks. Geeks. And let's start off this um, episode by saying that we're very excited that Michael Rosebaum is coming back for yes. the season finale of Smallville. Yay! Yay! And yes. it's something that needs to be done. Michael yeah. Rosenbaum needs to be there. Especially he since you can see there. how much uh, Luther really brings up an episode. Because it really does. Lionel himself uh, did a great job for Beacon this uh, past episode of Smallville. He, uh, he's such an excellent villain. I love and I think it's what I love Lionel, period, for. but I really love Lionel. The villain. Uh, Lionel from the Mirror World. He's I, oh, he was great. They should have brought him back earlier. <laughs> Everybody, I think... I, when Ali said, this line will kill my parents, she's like, I didn't do in my world, but I had a very good reason. <laughs> and, and even when he was talking to Martha, it's like, oh, you're such a jerk. And he's like, I'm very attracted to you. And it's like, <laughs> well, dang. I love him. I love him. I think a lot of people, after talking to a lot of different people that watch the show and are big fans of the show, everybody was saying, oh my goodness, when are they going to use Lionel? When is Luther going to come back? And I think some of the, the best episodes this season so far has been with a Luther. And, mm -hmm. you know, you really appreciate something when it's gone. <laughs> mm -hmm. I guess, because Lionel, oh my goodness, he was so good this episode. Congratulations, John Glover, for stealing if, the if episode. If you're wondering why the guy who played, the kid who played uh, Alexander looks so familiar, that's the kid from High School Musical who was, yeah. I don't seen... remember his character's name, but he was Sharpay's brother. I've never seen High, high School Musical. You must have seen him, though. I've never watched High School oh, Musical. I'm not saying... You have. I'm not going to. Either. I'm not saying you have watched it. I'm saying Disney Channel exists. You've <laughs> seen him with blonde hair. <laughs> but good job to the casting for finding kids that really look like each yeah. other, or making them look like each other. Like even watching this kid, I like I can see how he can grow up into looking like Michael Rosenbaum. Mm -hmm. Like they were all good. I don't remember Michael Rosenbaum having blue eyes though. Did he? I don't, I don't, I don't remember. remember. But anyways, I, I'm just so excited that Michael's coming back. And I'm so glad that next episode, Clark is finally going to put on the glasses. I just think that they did a lot of fluff episodes. And that they could have gotten to this storyline sooner. They could have. And even, even this, the dialogue of this episode was very fluffy. I know a lot of people are saying they really like it. But it's still like a lot of hope and darkness and light. You are the light, Clark. You know, conversation. It's still... It was... Um, you know what? It was a cheesy. lot... It was... But it was needed. I think it was needed. Because I think it needs to close the book of everything that has been going Dialogue on. Dialogue like that is not needed. I, but, but what I'm saying, it was like a wrap-up to me. Okay, okay. In the frame like they of what they've up. been doing lately, okay. But in the frame of uh, writing that is good, I would say um, it could have been better worded with the topics and everything that they're doing i'm just saying it still kind of sounds like i'm playing kingdom hearts <laughs> <laughs> kind of disney-ish <laughs> hey but then it fits because you had somebody from high school musical in the episode yeah. <laughs> clark <laughs> and like like why do you want to help me clark <laughs> because we're all in this together <laughs> and they should have started to dance <laughs> i've never seen the movie how could you have not heard we're all in this together? I've never heard that song before. <laughs> Do you not? I don't watch that Disney Channel. Shh, Disney, will, Mickey Mouse will come and kill you in your sleep. Annette too. I thought she did a good job. I, I love the interaction between her and, and Lionel. I just love John Glover. Oh my goodness, it was mm. so, he was just so good. I'm so glad they brought him back. What? Oh man, he was so good. I wish he would have been in more episodes. I wish yeah. he would have... Yeah. I, I wish I would have done and it And it sooner. comes to question, Lion, the Lionel story wasn't resolved by the end of it. The Lex story isn't resolved. It wasn't, isn't resolved. And and it's getting bigger because you saw that he's like invincible apparently. Which I'm I'm glad they're bringing back Michael Rosenbaum, but I'm very concerned and I guess I could live with it, but I really don't want the real Lex to be dead uh, yeah. because I just feel it's wrong that Oliver killed him with a toy. Like he deserves it just he it deserves seem better right. than that. Yeah, he, he deserves does. the better going out. But that. um this story is getting bigger, Lionel's story is getting bigger. So in 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 uh you know it's gonna extend out to the finale in whatever kind of way because Lex is gonna be back. So I'm concerned where exactly does Dark Side really fit in here? I don't I have no idea. I think they could have just stuck with I say I've I've said it a million times, I wish they never touched Dark Side. Um, I think they could have just stuck really with the what they wanted to do the VRA fine 
fine. And they could have just, you know, built on the, the Luther factor. Or, you know... You know what? They could they could have extended this alternate story thing. Oh, yeah. The reality thing. Who doesn't love an alternate longer. universe? You Everybody know, loves they, alternate they universes. Really, they really could have extended that so oh, much yeah. further. It had Lionel be, like, this huge villain. Um, showing him as he's slowly taking back the LexCorp and, you know, different stuff like that. You know, yeah, like like the I love the mirror episode, but it ended kind of it ended too fast. For I, me. I wish it was a two parter. And and I really on do. all the dynamic with Luther with with Lionel and Lex, that could have that could have went further. Mm -hmm. You know, in, with Tess and it just could have went so much further. They really could have extended this story that we're all apparently loving and and kept Dark Side out of it and even this VRA stuff. Because the more I look at this VRA stuff, it's just kind of crazy. Like we were talking last week, like there's no way people would. Was put up with this crap, but I know this week they had a vote. But I'm like, they have, they they know that Clark has superpowers. They know everybody's identity. How can Oliver just walk into his office? How can Clark just walk around a crime scene or be able to go home? Wait, how or, can they go to a crime scene anyway? <laughs> that was so funny. It was like, how are you just gonna walk into a crime scene of his, of an attempted murder of, of a like, senator? senator? Like that's that, that was funny for and, one. And his, Clark has super speed. Well, Oliver is just like there in a hoodie. <laughs> Doesn't look suspicious at all. Yeah. Even Clark thought he was suspicious. He's like, "Hey, you, you know." I thought that was funny. I'm like, "Okay, I'll let it go for Smallville." And then at the end, when the house was on fire, the whole mansion was like up in flames. But that they were still yeah, breathing. There's sections in the room where they're, they're, <laughs> they're still, still breathing and they still have oxygen. And their lungs are not, you know, incinerated because you can just breathe in that hot air and, and the in whole your lungs. mansion was in flames. But, but that, that, okay. There's a special atmosphere in that room a oh. lot of memories like kept the smoke from going was, inside of their oh lungs. it was oh, or it could have been jesus it was night <laughs> <laughs> yes jesus said martha live <laughs> <laughs> live martha <laughs> and, and lionel you could survive too. you you start well, after watching it for 10 years you, you just kind of just let things kind of well you kind of have to let things go like like my dad will complain about movies like he really i didn't see gi joe but a lot of people complain because well, I, from the little bit I saw, like, from the five minutes, I'm like, wow, this is, like, really cheesy. And then just dumb things would happen, like, impossible situations that defy the laws of physics and stuff. <laughs> and so that's kind of what's going on with Smallville. There's a cheesiness, and there's some things that defy the laws of physics. But, I mean, besides the fact that Clark can fly, I'm sorry, no, he can't. But... <laughs> You should be able to, you know, people have superpowers, kryptonite can make you do a bunch of crazy things that don't make sense, like shift your bones and make you a ship shifter, ship shifter, I'm saying it wrong, <laughs> but you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, but we let it go, because you have, you're in this sci-fi You just kind of have to let it you go. You have to it, let it I'm go. I'm not saying it doesn't bug me a bit, but <laughs> actually it kind of irks me, but um, you just kind of have to, if you want to enjoy these episodes for what they are, then you just kind of have to let some stuff go. Yeah. <laughs> but one thing, though, one thing, though. If this was a different show. But the Kryptonite Bullet. A different bullet, network. The Kryptonite <laughs> Bullet that Kryptonite, Clark said, like, no wonder it was Kryptonite because Kryptonite Bullets shattered on impact. Well, you said to, like, turn to dust. Yeah, or I'm whatever. like, that's new information to me! I've only watched this show for ten years! <laughs> Like, wait a minute. <laughs> if that's true, then why did the meteorites survive at all when they crashed to Earth? On the planet? C coming through our atmosphere. And I wait, hold on. It was really big chunks. And the little meteorites are actually dust particles compared to what actually hit the atmosphere. You might see that in the interview one day. <laughs> <laughs> the scene where um, Martha was talking to Chloe about being protective and overprotective and stuff like that I, I thought that was like I remember things like we had this whole I don't forget conversation like last time and I'm like well, the finale of last year you told Clark he should leave with his people <laughs> I'm like, uh. and she was she was very suggestive of it very fast <laughs> like maybe this is your destiny to leave us yeah so I don't. I just don't like conversations like that. Like I was always there doing the right thing the whole that's, time. Yeah, that's kind of what they. That's kind of what they said, you know. But 
you know. But at least, at least she said I was watching you, Chloe. At least somebody. At least, at least we know that people that are watching Clark are also being watched. Yeah. But did but just so you know, Batman's probably watching everyone. Oh. But anyways, uh, <laughs> oh, but she also had a conversation with Lois too. Yeah. And uh, I think that was kind of needed. Oh, if anybody thought I was being paranoid about the, the conservative thing, do not. Tell me you did not catch that they made they they at Fox they, News. they they made a knockout fo- at Fox News. Clearly, somebody the writers of the CW does not like Fox News <laughs> or, or or conservative period. Uh, you know, whatever. I am not paranoid, by the way. Just throw that out there. <laughs> whatever. And someone said, I was a comment last week or this past week that we were picking on Chloe. I resent that because we bash everybody. everybody. <laughs> Everybody is bad. Tess, I, I, I wanted to see more of her in the I, You know, I was I was glad that Tess called Clark out and said, hey, didn't you trap what's-his-face Slade in the Phantom Zone? And I was surprised Clark said, he forced my hand. So I'm going to get him out later. And I'm like, okay, first of all, this sounded kind of creepy for Clark. He forced my hand. Yeah. And, and then he's like, and I plan on getting him out once. How does he, how does he? I'm like, how do you just pull people out of the Phantom Zone? <laughs> You've never done that before. <laughs> You had to fight tooth and nail to get out yourself. Yeah, that that was that was kind of odd. But I like when people call people out about things that's happened because sometimes they like to forget. So I'm like, yes, not everyone has a short term memory span. So I was glad that she called him out. I like Tess. I really do. I'm glad they lost their confusion for her. She seemed very like a very confused person. Yeah. And so, but I think she did a great job. Especially when she first came out. I think her acting abilities was really good, and I, and uh, I just I, I wish she would have been more in the episode. But why no man? I, that was the only person I really wanted to see. He was so he is, good. Like when he for, when he was beating Clark with the belt in the mirror episode, I was like, wow! Like on the day, bam! <laughs> look, look! I'm gonna I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this, and, and some people might disagree with me, but I don't care. I think John Glover's Lionel Luther is better than any movie portrayal of Lex Luthor that I have seen. Well, well people say Michael Rosenbaum is the best Lex Luthor. I, I, I would, would agree that, that I would agree to that. Michael Rosenbaum is the best in these Lex movies, Luthor I've ever seen, period. Yeah, because in these movies, they always do like this petty criminal Lex that. I, he's not like a brilliant mastermind like he's in the comic book, someone to be truly yeah. feared, you know? Yeah. It's like he's almost, I don't know, a joke. Well, like, compared to a comic book, you know? Yeah. So, uh, Michael Rosenbaum is one of the closest, even though Smallville changes a lot, his interpretation of it, or, or what they gave for him to interpret and how he portrays it, is, in my opinion, like the best on screen. Well, I don't know. I kind of wish that this evil Lionel was always there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because I he, like he, he, it. It could have been the whole season. They could have structured it around this mirror world. Pe- kind I of. wish he was there the whole. Like there, like there are times in Smallville, throughout the ten seasons where Lionel Luther was kind of that, but that you know that bad. But he always seemed like I'm bad because I'm trying to save the world mm-hmm. type of way. Like so he wasn't as bad. As this mirror uh, Lionel, but my goodness, I I wish he was there the whole well, well, time. You know, power cor- corrupts, as they say, and and he was already bad. But to have Clark, you know, all like ultimate power right there, probably just send him over. Yeah, yeah send him over. Yeah. So, I I really wish they would have extended this thing and not have bothered to do black smoke, darkness, infecting people's hearts and minds and stuff. They really could have extended this whole Lionel thing out more farther. The whole Mirror Universe period. Cause, Cause Smallville is gonna be over in May. They're probably gonna do like another break. So there's not there's not that many episodes left if you really think about it. And I wish there was more! I think they throw me a steak finally after eating nothing but potatoes. It, and they, you know, there's not that much left. Like the buffet is closing in 20 minutes. And, you know. and it was really cool to uh, see the actual fans of Smallville come on the show and, and uh, cause you, you know those were actual Smallville fans who, who sent those things and they played them and stuff. Oh, by the way, do they not have YouTube? Chloe had to make a website. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, that was kind of, like, finally. Like, they needed a place to be heard. I'm like, Chloe just invented the internet? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
that was that was a bit unrealistic. I mean, they wanted a little story for Lois, so for mm -hmm. Lois and, and and Chloe to shine for a moment. But I mean, realistically, in real life, there would have been like ten million of those episodes of, of those type of websites already up. Yeah, really. You know, that were compete. There might have been one big one. You know, maybe another competition, but there would already been like ten of those already. Mm -hmm. You know, we would have had one of our own. I'm just glad that Clark has finally closed the book well hopefully he's closed the book and people believe in me I can do it I'm glad that he's finally can do it. realized you know that he can you know be Clark Kent and still have his I identity. don't like how he makes fun of himself <laughs> yeah I don't like how he makes fun of but I, you know a lot of people make fun of you know Superman in his glasses well yeah a lot of people like do we do do we do I mean but he's yeah. not supposed to make fun of himself you know but I think it's cute I think it's cute. Alex is losing his memories. Oh yeah, Alex and Lex losing his memories. Which, you know, it, it's kind of interesting because the clone Lex is more crazy than the actual Lex Luthor was. I think he is. Because one, he knows he's dying. Two, he's having all these memories crash on him at once. You know, and... I, and, you know, his, his, his plans to get Clark are a little bit... Actually, this plan to get Clark was better than the other clone, <laughs> to be honest. Burn Lois into a cornfield and blow up the Daily Planet ball. Yeah, that was actually... You can only save one of them. Yeah, I think I think this plan was a little bit smarter. Yeah. But, uh, but these clones, I believe, are, are crazier than the actual Lex. But I still want the real Lex yeah. to exist. Please, please, <laughs> I don't please want tell them. me that... Like, it just doesn't feel right. It would be like they'd be going on as enemies and stuff, and it would be like, you're not the real Lex. It just isn't right to me. Especially since the whole exploding toy thing. But anyways, tell us what you think. We want to know. I love this episode. Anyways, I'm Katrina. I'm Christina. And we're the Gorgeous Geeks.